Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian, and welcome back to Hearts Farm 4 as we are playing with Communist China. Uh, so, before we get started, let's address a few things that have been brought up in the comments. I try and address things in the videos when they, they are brought up frequently, just so that, uh, you know, when I read and reply to comments, because I read and reply to every comment on my channel, or try to, anyways. Uh, I don't like having to, to, you know, respond to the same comment, you know, 10, 15, 20 times. So when I see that a, a comment's being brought up a lot, then I'll bring it up in the video so that hopefully to reduce the amount of comments about it. Uh, and then the first one is, is something that uh, really pertains to the beginning of the series, but is still being talked about. And I've seen uh, comments on episode 3, 4, and 5 about this. And this is about me not doing an early war with one of our neighbors here. Uh, you know, quickly conquering one of them to get that extra manpower, to get the extra states to build in. Uh, and, and, you know, people wondering why I didn't do that and saying that the, the conflict would have been much easier overall if I had. Um, I, I thought I had said this in that first episode, but if I didn't, the reason why uh, I didn't do an early war is because I, I wanted to try those border conflicts out because I've never seen the new border conflicts. Uh, I really wanted to try them out. Uh, so that's that's the reason why if we had conquered these guys, we wouldn't have been able to do the border conflict now. Looking back in hindsight, we know we weren't able to do the border conflict anyway. I didn't initiate it uh, soon enough, and then I didn't click the button that I was supposed to click. Uh, you had to click it twice, I think. Uh, you had like 30 days to click it again, and I didn't click it. I think that's what happened, the reason why the border conflict didn't start. So so that that's the reason why I didn't do early war, because I wanted to do the border conflicts. Now, of course, unfortunately, it didn't work out, so, you know, uh, but hindsight's 2020, so... Uh, but that's the reason why, and yes, it would have probably been a better idea to do it, but you know what? We're getting more of a challenge by it. Uh, so, and we'll be able to fight pretty much all of China together. So that should make it even more challenging. So I think, I think it overall, and it, it ends up being okay. Uh, the other thing is world conquest. A lot of people asking if this campaign is going to end up being a world conquest as communist China. Uh, no, it is not. Uh, those of you who know, who's been on the channel for a while know that I don't, uh, do world conquest, uh, because I find them tedious and boring and very few people watch them uh, despite the fact that a lot of people ask for them and the last time i kind of did one was the soviet union where our goal was to turn every country in the, the world communist which we did achieve it did take almost 50 videos to do it though uh, and it got really tedious towards the end you know especially in places like south america where you're just waiting all that time to get the war goal and then you quickly conquer them and now you got to wait all the time to get the next war goal and it's just it's just it's not it's not fun gameplay and because of that nobody watches it despite the fact that they requested it uh so yeah i don't do world conquest because i don't find them fun and they're not they're not challenging uh, to do it once you've conquered all the majors you've basically already conquered the world in my opinion uh, so it will not be a world conquest we're going to be as of right now sticking with the goals i laid out in that first episode and the last thing i wanted to bring up because i know that this is going to get addressed more uh as the series gets more views over the next coming months because every time i say it uh, it gets addressed a lot and that is uh i said that there had been no uh, examples in history of a large powerful communist country that was not imperialistic there's only two countries guys that would fit under that qualification that is the soviet union and communist china I said large, powerful country. Now, I haven't said that in the past because I always thought it was a foregone conclusion that a little small country like Yugoslavia is not going to be imperialistic. I hadn't put that, that qualifier uh, in the beginning of when, when I'm saying what kind of communist countries in the past, so Yugoslavia always gets thrown out there. So in the last video, when I brought this up, I did say large, powerful countries to try and avoid those uh, comments, but I still got, got those comments. So just for those who didn't uh, listen to what I said, large, powerful countries, large powerful countries that does not apply to Yugoslavia because uh, they, they wouldn't be you wouldn't expect them to be imperialistic that's if they're not typically are a smaller country like that um, there's not even a local hegemon it's pretty hard for them to build an empire uh, so so yeah I don't I can't think of any examples since there's only Soviet Union and China I think that's just the the nature of large powerful countries is they're going to be imperialistic regardless of their ideology so uh, and my argument is that being a communist doesn't uh, doesn't change that because uh, there's no example of it changing it uh, so so yeah I just want to make that clear uh, and yeah let's go and get started as you guys can see I've already drawn out the uh, offensive line here so that we can start getting planning bonuses because we're going to start working on preparing for the war with uh or the civil war uh with the rest of china so we're gonna let this play because essentially and we're not gonna be doing much in fact we could actually turn it up to speed five uh because yeah, we don't really have anything that we need to do while we wait uh, i did move this border here and in fact we're probably gonna have to micro these divisions because yeah they're all on here all five of the divisions are assigned to here more than likely that's because this is the only border that we have uh with an actual you know power that's not in our faction so i think that's the reason why they did that yeah we're just gonna have to micromanage where these guys get placed so let's place these guys over here 
these guys right here. Just kind of uh, move them to better locations. Kind of spread them out across the border there a little bit better. All right. So, uh, oh yes, there's one other thing somebody brought up. Uh, that our general does have a trait that we can get. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we're going to give him infantry expert. I think that'd be better since we're about to go on the attack. Or we largely have been on the attack. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and add uh, that general trait to him. Uh, we can take a look at our field marshal as well. He does not have anything. Okay. And there's a decision available. Let's take a look at this. What is this? Oh, another infiltration mission. Let's go ahead and continue doing these. I don't remember where we're at here on this one. I think this is the one we're working on. I could be wrong. Let me just double check. Yeah, so this would give us elite divisions. We don't need the elite divisions there. Uh, if we had the time, we'd do it. But really, we want more states under control. So let's continue with this uh, state here. Now, the um, we're not going to help with the war against Japan. I'm just going to let China uh, deal with that. And hopefully, they do well. Uh, it looks like they're being pushed back. Uh, yeah, looks like they're being pushed back, but I want Japan to stay in the conflict uh, because there is an event that can fire. Actually, it's a decision. And the wife just called about dinner. It always it always happens like right when I start recording. That's when I get the call. Because, uh, yeah, she had to pick us up dinner or pick me up dinner and the kids because uh, she's going to a, a work dinner tonight. Uh, so she's getting off work early and going to bring us home dinner and then she's got to go uh, to this work dinner thing. Uh, so I think that's that. She's going to Fuzzy's Tacos. I don't know if you ever had them. They have interesting tacos. Uh, pretty good. I can't eat them anymore, unfortunately. But, yeah, they were good back in the day uh, when I was able to eat stuff like that. I completely forgot what we were talking about. I think I said... What's this? Let's take, oh, War Bonds. I don't think we're going to do the War Bonds anymore because they're getting more and more expensive. Yeah, we're not going to do them anymore. They're getting more expensive. Um, political power is not the problem, but as you'll notice... The war support is impacted every time we take that, so uh, let's not take any more of those. Uh, we're good. I, it's kind of a bummer because, yeah, we don't have a lot of civilian factories. Uh, currently, we're working on a military factory, which will get done in August. But it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, I'm not going to help out here. I'm hoping that they'll be able to hold them back on their own. If they completely push Japan back into the sea, uh, then there is a uh, event. And I think we talked about this last episode. It does look like they might be advancing a bit. Uh, there's an event uh, that fires that... that uh, is a white piece between China and Japan once Japan's been knocked out the mainland. However, it's based on a decision uh, that has to be taken, and I said by China, but it's actually by Japan. Japan takes a, a decision uh, to give peace to China, and I think they're programmed to always take it if they've been pushed off the continent. However, China does not have to accept, and from my understanding, China doesn't accept if Japan is at war with other major powers. Uh, so if they're at war with, like, I think it's two, maybe three major powers that haven't capitulated. I think it's two uh, to be like the British and the Americans. Uh, if they're at war, yeah, I think it's two major powers. Uh, then then China will will turn it down. They will not accept it. Uh, so I, I, believe, I believe there won't be a white piece. I could be wrong, though. Uh, and if there was a white piece, then I don't know if that deletes the faction. But that would overall actually be a better thing. Um, but the reason why I'm not helping push Japan off is just because I want the Chinese divisions to be distracted over here fighting Japan while we take over all their territory. Uh, so we got the elite mountaineers. Uh, that was that one focus that we were able to get along here. So let's go ahead and continue with it. Uh, the heavy weapons for the support artillery bonus. Uh, so we're going to get that. And as long as they don't lose control of too many of these states here, then it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, but yeah, I would hope that they would not lose here. It looks like they are winning. Uh, so yeah, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Uh, let's take a look at our... You know what? We should probably take a look at our infantry equipment. We do have an excess of it. So we're going to want to go ahead and build out a no another one of these guys here. And I think that puts us at... Puts us at 1,000. Okay. We might want to get a nice stockpile of equipment going because remember, we are researching the large front offensives. Uh, so next, that will give us... Whoop. Okay, well, let's go and get this selected first, uh, which we are going to get... Are we doing industrial text yet for 19... Oh, it's not 1943. Okay, so we're a little bit off on that. Uh, but yeah, once we get this one, then we're going to get this one, which will then allow us to add a lot more divisions to our battalion. A lot more divisions to our... Or excuse me, battalions to our divisions. Uh, I think we do like three, three or four or more infantry battalions. And so... That would result in needing a ton of infantry equipment, so having a stockpile for that would be nice. So we can get the artillery, but we're about to get a research bonus for that, so might as well wait. 
We do need more of these, and we need to get the 1942 infantry deck, so that's what we're going to get now. Go ahead and get that so we can start building them out, having better infantry equipment out there. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> AI China is just terrible, man. This can't even do anything against the Japanese. Oh, look at this. There's a successful invasion here. There's successful American invasions here in Naples and, and here at Rome. We'll have to see how they do, guys. Um, then the British are still in Sicily as well. Uh, so yeah, the Italians might end up getting knocked out of the conflict. We'll just have to see what ends up happening there. Uh, and that should hopefully help the Soviets. As you can see, the Germans are actually moving pretty slow, but they have advanced. They certainly have been advancing. Uh, they're advancing here in the summer by quite a bit. We're gonna turn these down here. And what is, okay, that's nothing. All right, uh, so yeah, just once again, just wanna make sure we pay attention to this guy so we can get him put onto a front once he's finished. And let me also take a look at we should probably take a look at our infantry equipment situation. We will build one more of these guys. Uh, and do we want to get, you know what, we should probably get one of these guys instead. So I can put them into Korea. And let's see, we do have more infiltration decisions ability, so let's go ahead and uh, do these. Oh, and another advantage of Japan not being knocked off the continent is that China has these missions to, uh, you know, decisions to like search for uh, infiltrations. And I think I talked about this in a past episode. Uh, but yeah, they have infiltration uh, decisions as well to kind of counter them. And I believe they're they're not very likely to take them if they're still at war with Japan. Uh, and if they finish the war with Japan, then they're much more likely to take them. So uh, that's another benefit, is that we can get these done as long as Japan's still on the border. Now, I don't know if that's entirely true because I read that on the forum. So uh, the forums are... Sometimes, uh, sometimes they get things wrong. So they could certainly be wrong about that one. Uh, if you have more experience with it, then let me know. Uh, let's see. Have we finished here? We have not. So we need to keep doing the missions here. Let's just do another one there. And I, I think, let me just take a look here. How many will flip to us right now? All right, we're going to get one and two. So it looks like we're only getting these two as of right now. Uh, so we're going to want to continue getting this one. And then I, I suppose we'll go after Beijing. So we'll try and get this little ring here before we do the Civil War. That should give us a lot of time. Uh, to prepare for the conflict, to build up our troops, because we don't really have a lot of divisions right now. Uh, and as long as Japan's still in the conflict, which they are getting pushed back here in the south. Yeah, a little bit. They're, they are pushing them back. Okay, so Japan's starting to lose territory now. So something to consider, uh, that we do want to get that done. However, before we go to war, what I'd like to, at the very least, have done is those, those land doctrines, which we're about to get another tech finished up here. We got excavation done. Okay, let's go ahead and... We're still working to get a, that research bonus. Uh, could go and get the engineers. Those are pretty useful. In fact, I think that's what we will get. Let's go ahead and get the engineer company, uh, the upgrade for this, because this gives that river bonus, which is stupidly useful for when you do have to attack cross rivers. I typically avoid it if I can. Sometimes you have no choice. You have to do it. We should probably deploy uh, these units here so that when this guy's done training, which should be momentarily, here we go, we can go and throw him on a border. Uh, let's put him onto this front here. All right, so we're up to 22 divisions. Uh, what we're gonna do is, is split this into a separate army here. Uh, in fact, we can go ahead and do that now if we wanted to, might as well. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, so we'll create a new army here, put them under the field marshal, uh, and they will have, let's just see how do we want to, what color do we want to do them? We already have a red. Uh, well, we don't have a blue yet. Let's do blue and then we'll give them what do we have? We have a star right now Well, let's do the There we go. That looks good. We do need to give him a commander. Uh, let's give him the mountain commander This guy does have better supply consumption Well, he has better defense, but yeah, the mountaineer trade is just so good That I think that would be the best option for us because uh, there's just so many mountains that we have to fight in uh, across this front uh, so we do need to create a new front for him. Let's go ahead and do that. And again, make sure we don't put that province into it. Else they'll all move over to there. All right, fantastic. So yeah, they're, they're definitely starting to push Japan back. Uh, so we're in a situation where we're gonna need to, we're gonna need to get this war started very soon. Very, very soon, guys. All right, well, we have these guys training up. Uh, again, we're just waiting on getting this one in six days and then another 70 days. So I'm thinking like three months is when we should be ready. Hopefully that'll be enough time to build up a good amount of units. Uh, let's go ahead and build another one of these guys out. 
I'm hoping that'll be enough. I suppose we'll see. Uh, we still haven't built that military factory yet. That's right. I think it's in... When are we supposed to get that? October? Oh, it's August. Uh, we get it in about a week. Uh, so we did complete the large front offensives. So now we can get this one. And we do have the ability to reduce it. So it's going to be 160 days. I don't know where I got 70 from. I was thinking the national focus. Uh, so that's quite a while, actually. All right. So they might end up getting Japan knocked off before I complete that. Uh, we could go now. Uh, but at this, as I said, at, very, at the very least, I'd like to get this one. Uh, getting Beijing would be super, super nice. Full, the super, super nice. Excuse me. I said nice full. <laughs> Trying to combine helpful and nice into one word. Uh, so we got the heavy weapons. Uh, so that's that support artillery bonus. What do you want to go for next? Oh, we should have went to the mission to the U.S. and we can't do that because we don't have a high enough opinion with them. The opinion did decrease by a bit. All right, um, we could go ahead and try and get this one, but I don't think I'm gonna, because I really want this, and I don't know how long it's gonna take to get the opinion up, but we're just gonna wait, and while we wait, we'll get something here. I think the most useful thing to do would be division training time. Yeah, I think that'd be the one that's the most useful for us, since we're really focused on training troops up, and we're only building the one infrastructure there, and that's only a 10% bonus. Uh, we're gonna get this done in December, it seems. And then after that, we'll probably want to set up more military factories, I would assume. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, we should probably take that up by two. Yeah. All right, so we'll get that building. Um, and let's take a look at the unit situation. Uh, excuse me, the equipment situation. Uh, I think we might... No, we do not have time. Uh, because we want to make sure that we can do these missions. So let's wait until this one's done, and then we'll do another one. And yeah, it definitely does seem Japan is losing quite a bit of territory now. It's kind of a shame. I can't believe I'm rooting for Japan. Uh, they are gaining territory up here, though. That's not good. Once again, though, I'm not willing to help. <laughs> I'm going to make them do it on their own. Uh, so uh, we got the infiltration mission that we can execute now. Let's take a look and see. Did we complete this here? No, we did not. So we have to do this. We have to do one more. So that's 60 days. And then if we wanted to do the three in Beijing, uh, that would be six months, uh, which I th think would be pretty fitting for what we have left to get this one and then to, to train our troops back up. So yeah, I'm thinking it's gonna be spring 43. Japan will probably be knocked out of here by then, but I don't know, because they do have this situation here where they're actually pushing forward. So yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna help with them either. Uh, we've helped enough. Uh, we've helped uh, China out enough for really barely any gain. We only gained Korea, but that, that has been, I guess, a significant gain, I should say. Let's take a look at the resource situation. We could stop trading. Oh, we're not trading for steel right now. Okay. Um, so we might not actually... Let me take this back then. We do not need to get two of these then. We should instead get the military factory. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll get this constructed, and then we'll work on another military factory. Uh, always need more military factories. Uh, how are we doing on these guys on training? It's doing all right. Uh, and let's take a look at equipment. We can go ahead and get another one of these guys. Let's go ahead and do that. Another one of our crouching tigers. And we have one month left before we're done here, and then we'll be able to start working on Beijing. Uh, so, yeah, w very good progress here. Um, holding them back here, surprisingly. Yeah, they're holding them back. Uh, but uh, still still some work for them to do. Uh, but they only have two, nope, three, excuse me, three ports left to keep their supply going here. I don't think they'll they'll last much longer. I think they'll probably have Japan knocked off. And then I guess we'll see if there's going to be a peace treaty or not. Now, I don't know how it works with because the peace treaty typically frees Korea. But I want to say that in order to free Korea, oh, they're actually attacking us. Uh, that doesn't need to be extended. Uh, yeah, they're actually attacking our division. And we're not successful in that attack, of course. Getting pretty good uh, experience gain here. Uh, which we're going to be... Uh, man, without, 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 a, without a real focus on tanks, there's not, not anything to use your experience for. Uh, I mean, we'll eventually get tanks, of course. Uh, but yeah, I don't know when that's going to be. Let's go ahead and get the... Could get the mountain troops. We do have a nice bonus for that that we just got from that national focus. Let's get the mountain troops so we start building those. Uh, we'll use that experience to build out their division, in fact. Uh, so, uh, how are we looking on 
getting these done. Five more days. And that'll give us control of all of this region here. So pretty powerful indeed. Uh, yeah, that's going to be stupidly helpful. Uh, so we did uh, get the infantry equipment research bonus. So let's go for the support weapons. And let's go ahead and get these guys building out here. Doesn't mean I'm not going to build any more units until we get this, I think. Let me just take a look. 81 days. We might build a build one more unit. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's deploy these guys. This will be the last unit we build, I think. And probably should stockpile the rest of any infantry equipment we get from here on out. Yeah, definitely should. Uh, let's just take a look. We are actually pretty stocked on artillery. So let's go and pull back from artillery. Put that into the anti-air, since that's what we really need. And I suppose that's, that's fine how we're looking right now. Yeah, this looks fine. We do want to stockpile of artillery. Uh, do another infiltration mission. Let's go ahead and do... This is elite division, so we don't need to do that. Let's do Beijing now. Yeah, let's go ahead and start working on Beijing. And this would probably be the last one we do. I mean, technically, we could try and infiltrate all this, but it's not balanced that way, uh, from my understanding. Once they start taking those decisions, it's really, really hard to keep your infiltration going because uh, it takes it back more. Uh, from what I recall reading about it, it ticks your infiltrations back by two, while each infiltration, you know, like, you have, I think, a total of four, four levels of it. I might be wrong, maybe it's five. I think it's four, though. Uh, and every time you do it, it only ticks it up by one level. Uh, with the, the, uh, the, you know, the, God, what are they called? I don't remember what they call, uh, the counter um, infiltrations, whatever they call those decisions. Uh, when they do it, it ticks it down by two. So it's, uh, yeah, it's... It's by quite a bit, guys. Uh, it's really hard to keep it going. Uh, eventually, they'll they'll have more than you, uh, so it is a problem. Could send another division over here. It does look like they, yeah, they pretty much wrapped up Japan, uh, just about. Let's put this guy over here. Or you know what? So this one's further away. We'll put him over here. So they have uh, six divisions on that front. And they, any further divisions we get, we'll go to this one, uh, which we actually almost have that guy done training to hop into this and then we have two divisions here uh, that are currently training what can we modify anything that would actually be useful to us you know what we could do let's go to total mobilization and then we're going to take that one decision basically you're only losing uh i think stability because this uh, reduces your total population by 3%, uh, which is obviously not something we want to do with our limited population right now however then we can do the women in the workforce here, uh, which will then negate that because it gives you a plus 3% recruited population at the cost of stability. So that's really what we're just doing. We're giving up stability right now for, uh, you know, more more factories. I should have done that already. Uh, so let's do that. And that should give us more factories. Yeah, we have seven now. We only had five before. Another thing we can do to try and improve our situation, actually, is manager occupied territories. Let's change this because I'm not too worried about resistance growth and we're not getting much manpower anyway from here. And I'm not worried about political power either. So let's go to the harshest so that we get more uh, factories out of it. Yeah. Uh, so that'll give us more military factories. Uh, two more military factories, in fact. Uh, so let's go ahead and put that into the anti-air. And then also to the infantry equipment just so we can try and get these, uh, you know, get it stockpiled a little bit more. Uh, we're at 1.7 thousand, which is not going to be enough for when we change up our division designs here in 47 days. Uh, that's... You had a lot of a lot of infantry battalions, guys. Uh, so it does, uh, you know, obviously take a take a, a lot of the infantry equipment to keep them all supplied. So they've now taken all ports but one. Yeah, the Japanese have lost all territory but one port. Uh, and they're currently having some difficulty taking that as of right now. But the Japanese keep on attacking, which is going to result in them eventually losing. And in fact, it looks like these are all Spanish troops. Okay, so that's it. I believe Japan has just been kicked off the continent. So we'll see if that event fires or not. Uh, I assume the Japanese would take the decision. I don't know why they wouldn't take it. They clearly can't win here in China. But I don't think the Chinese would accept the decision. I think they turn it down uh, because of, uh, you know, the, the fact that they're at war with, with other uh, major powers. So I think they turn it down. So this does mean that they could start initiating these, um, you know, missions here. I think they do need political power and infantry equipment, which... I would assume they'd have infantry equipment. I don't really know. A lot of their divisions are lacking. No, this is a motorized. Maybe they're just lacking motorized equipment. So, yeah, we'll just have to see if they start 
uh, nullifying some of these. That's, that really makes me just want to hurry up and, and get this Beijing one. Oh, we actually have one. Damn it. I didn't even see that. All right. Well, let's continue with it. Shit, man. We just wasted time. All right. Um, so that's not good. Uh, but this is going to take a while to, to get all of our divisions trained. So as long as they don't take those missions, which is the main thing I'm worried about right now. Uh, we got the mountain troops, so we're going to want to get them training. I won't get any more text for them. It doesn't make any sense uh, when, you know, we don't even have them out there yet. Let's use our research bonus for the artillery. We're also in 1943. We could have started getting some 1943 text. In fact, let's actually do that. Let's start getting some 1943 industrial text. Uh, so that, because that, that would be super useful for us for the equipment. All right. Uh, so just waiting on this one, which we get in 10 more days. And then we're going to change up our division designs and then prepare for uh, our initiating, initiating our infiltrations. Uh, we'll start, uh, we'll have to train all those troops up because, you know, obviously all, obviously all those changes to the division designs is going to result in most of them probably needing to be trained. Uh, so we'll do that. Let's go ahead and get the last one with our army experience, uh, which will mostly give us the recovery rate and the out of supply uh, bonus there. So 161 days when we'll get that. Uh, so now we need to go ahead and change up our division designs. Let's go and deploy those guys there. Are any of these guys done training? It doesn't matter anyway, because we're gonna have to add them to it. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and change up both division designs. We'll do the Crouching Tigers first. And I don't know how many we're gonna add. I'm not gonna do any more art artillery. They already require 144 guns per division. I don't really feel like that's needed. Instead, let's just do infantry battalions since that's what we have is a lot of infantry equipment. Uh, so we'll do, I think we do one more. There we go. That's how it's going to look. As you can see, we are increasing HP by a considerable amount. Uh, organizations, you know, great. 50 something organization. That's fantastic. Uh, recovery rate, a uh, higher suppression abilities, obviously better. Uh, look, this, this soft attack's gone up, heart attack's gone up. Uh, the defense has gone up significantly, uh, better breakthrough, uh, piercing's a little bit lower. And... Yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty good. Let's go ahead and save this. And you know what? We can go ahead and change our, we should change our icons. I don't know. Is there a tiger in here? <laughs> yeah, I feel like we, we need to give him a more tiger-like uh, icon, if I can find one. I'm probably passing right by. There's got to be something tigerish, right? You would think? I guess there's these. Those aren't really tiger-like. There's something for our dragons, though, I see. God, I, I must be passing. You'd think there would be a tiger one. I mean, there's that one. Doesn't really scream tigers though. Yeah, I guess we're gonna go with the the things here. I don't know what animal that goes to, but that's what we're gonna go for. All right, let's go and update that. Give them a different icon, uh, and then our dragons. Uh, we're gonna change up their icon as well when we when we change these up and add a bit more battalions to them. Uh, we're just gonna do those two, and that's it. And I almost want to do field hospitals for them, but we won't. We won't do field hospitals. It's fine. Hopefully they shouldn't be fighting too much. And then let's change up their icon to the dragon one. There we go. All right. So that looks pretty good. And we're going to need to train up all of our troops. We already know that they're probably going to need some a significant amount of experience at this point. I don't know how much manpower that took. Let's take a look at our infantry coming. Oh, it's bad. Oh, it's quite bad. All right, we're not gonna be able to do the infiltrations at this point. So you know what? We're gonna need to cancel one of these, which kind of sucks. Uh, I didn't want to have to do that, but it's gonna be necessary uh, or we're not gonna be able to do these damn infiltration missions. Uh, so some lend lease offers for infantry equipment. We will take those or whatever they want to provide us anyways. These guys are done. Uh, I don't know that they've got all their manpower though, so they might not be done. Let's take a look. I'm trying to hover over them here. They do not have all their manpower yet. All right, still nobody needing training just yet. Uh, they're still trying to get all their manpower. Here we go. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to create like a, a little training army here and get them training. They'll be like a yellow one and just to make them look different from these guys so that we can keep them in their current location so that I don't have to uh, try and figure out where the hell they're supposed to go, what front they're supposed to go to. And I don't want these guys to move over to here, obviously. Let's go and put them into there. See if anybody else needs training. I see one here. Okay. All right, so looking good. There's a few divisions that had enough experience that they aren't gonna need to be trained up, which is nice. Uh, we're now down to 168,000 manpower, 
Manpower should be ticking up though, since we got that one focus, which gives us 5% more manpower. I uh, got the support weapons. Uh, so I think we're done here. Let's go with the artillery next. And then we'll kind of focus on infrastructure solely for a little while. We need to get the infantry equipment in a better situation. And in fact, I know that we train these guys up. You know what guys, we are gonna have to cancel this because we are not able to do infiltration missions and we only have 25 days. That's not enough time to build up the infantry equipment we need. In fact, I almost feel like we should put another factory into it. I know it reduces the efficiency, uh, but at this point, yeah, I'm, I'm really trying to get this done so that we'll have it done in the, the 20 days that we have left. Uh, I don't know if we're, if we're gonna get it, get it finished up or not. At 1.9 thousand in the negative, now 2,000 in the negative. Let's have to see, see how it goes. Uh, keep our eyes on these guys. Uh, make sure none of them are trained needlessly. It does seem that all of them are done with their training. Just making sure they all got their manpower. Yes, sir. All right, so let's go ahead and take them and put them onto their fronts. Let's try and figure out where the hell they're all supposed to go. I think this guy goes onto this front. And then this dude goes right here, I think. I think that's right. It looks right. Okay, um, then let's go ahead and have, or maybe it's wrong. Maybe one of these guys was actually supposed to be over there. Ah, but it's fine. We're not gonna mess with it. And then I think all these guys go onto this front here. Okay, uh, do we wanna move them around a little bit? Cause they did change up their position some. Let's actually, yeah, let's go ahead and move them some. Let's go like so. Start moving them over towards this side of things. All right, so with Japan knocked off uh, the continent, it's gonna be us against probably the whole faction. Uh, Cause I'm pretty sure the, the decision will pull us out of the faction and then have us declare war uh, once we're ready to initiate it. I guess we can take a look at it real quick. Declares war on China. Uh, oh, leaves the Chinese United Front and declares war on China. Uh, so that means we would be at war with everybody. That's the ideal. Uh, Cause the faction would still be in place. So we'd have to fight them all at the same time. Which is gonna be challenging, guys. Uh, it's gonna be quite challenging because they have a lot more divisions than we do. Uh, so we'll have to see how we do. Uh, we'll just have to see how we're able to get it done. I'm just gonna move these guys over here and then this guy here is going into this army. Oh, some of these guys still need to be trained up. Uh, what we'll do is just have them, just take a look at them. Uh, how do we have this set up? Why are they over here? Oh, because they just need to be here. Okay, whatever. Uh, there's no reason for them not to go over here instead. And let's just train them while that other guy is moving, since he won't build a train while they move. In fact, this guy needs to take the railroads if we're gonna do that though, so he can get it done. Oh, he has to go over there. All right, I don't know why he's set on going over here, but whatever, we'll just let him, we'll just let him be where he wants to be. We'll let these guys train up. Uh, so that they can get, you know, fully experienced and it gives us more army experience. Not that we really have a use for that right now. Let's take a look at our infantry equipment and see how we're doing. Uh, we're into the positive, 119 right now. Uh, we also have a military factory uh, done constructing. Uh, so let's go and get it placed into, let's just see here. Uh, I think infantry equipment is what we're needing right now. Uh, and that does result in us needing some steel, but I'm not gonna trade for that at the moment. Uh, so yeah, we're just trying to get this built up so that we can do the mission because we're not doing anything right now uh, Because we don't have any infantry equipment. Uh, so we need to get that up to 500 Hopefully we get there soon uh, so that we can hurry up and get this built Or excuse me get this done uh, And Iceland just joined the Axis. O okay <laughs> interesting Yeah, they're they're democratic and I'm, I'm huh That's surprising didn't expect that so I guess the allies will end up doing an invasion there. I think we can now do the infiltration. There we go. So let's do the Beijing one. We have to do, this is the last one actually for Beijing. And we could push it to try and do some more where we get elite units. I don't think we should guys, uh, because I'm worried about them doing those counter counter ones. Oops, forgot to stop these guys from training. Uh, so yeah, I'm worried about them doing the counter one. So I, d I don't know that we should. Yeah, I really don't think that we should, uh, we should do that. You know, go for the, the elite ones. They could just end up going against us, not working in our favor. Uh, Siam has capitulated. <laughs> that was quite quick. Uh, so, yeah, they are knocked out of the war. Japan 
is conquering the Dutch East Indies, though, successfully. Uh, war propaganda, we want to turn that off. We're not interested in seeing this. Uh, yeah, the Japanese are being pretty successful in their conquest of the Dutch East Indies so far. Yep, they've already uh, conquered all of Papua, New Guinea. So now I assume they're going to try and launch some invasions into Australia. They still haven't knocked the Philippines out yet, though, so maybe they'll focus on that. Uh, we did get the artillery, so we're going to have to change up the equipment up there. Uh, let's go ahead and get 1943 industrial techs. Uh, we'll focus on that. Uh, let's go ahead and do... Well, we have a choice of between retention or growth. Let's go ahead and do... I, I like the growth one because it helps in both the situation of when you build a new uh, a new one out, you know, a new line out, or when you change them, while the retention only helps if you're changing out lines. So I like the growth. So we're going to go for that. Uh, artillery, we're going to go ahead and switch that up. Get better artillery. We are now lacking in steel. What are we working on? Oh, we're still building up these forts. My bad. I didn't realize we were doing that. Well, I guess we're going to let them finish, and then we're going to get the steel from here. Uh, that does mean we're going to need to trade temporarily with the Soviets for that steel, since we are pretty short on it now. And yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and build that up um, after they finish up on this fortification here. Uh, there were two forts that didn't get built on the side here. Hopefully, we don't need to use those. Uh, I guess we'll just see. They do have troops on our border right there. Just one division for right now. Uh, but other than that, nobody else on the border. These guys are done training, so we should probably... Can we build more units? Oh, we have a nice stockpile of infantry equipment, so let's go ahead and build more of the Crouching Tigers. And let's just get two of these guys going. Get them training. And put them on low equipment priority. All right. Uh, so it does mean... We're going to have to stop these guys from training. How much longer until we're ready? 20 more days uh, is when we got that one done. And and I just don't want to risk it, them doing the infiltration, anti-infiltration. So I think we'll probably just accept what we have here uh, and do the communist uprisings with what we got. Uh, already it's going to be kind of challenging, I think, uh, because, yeah, we don't have our troops here. Um, all these guys here are in the, in the capital. So we can just go around them if need be. Hopefully it shouldn't be too difficult to get them destroyed. Uh, we did get the concentrated industry. Excellent. Uh, let's go ahead and go after... Do we want to go after construction next? You know what? I don't think we will go after construction just yet. We have a bunch of other stuff we want to get. Somebody asked about planes. I would eventually like to get an Air Force, but right now the, these, these, these fighters right here wouldn't do very well. So you got to research those, and then you got to at least get the 1936. Ideally, you'd want to get all the way up to 1940. So at the very least, you need two to three techs here. And then you, then you got to build them, uh, which we don't really have the resources or factories to do right now because I really want to focus on land equipment. And then we don't have any oil supplies, really, to then use them. So while I'd like to get an a Air Force eventually, it's not right now a priority. Uh, eventually, we'll get them. Same thing with tanks. That's another thing I'd like to get eventually, but uh, again, not... Uh, really a priority. We should probably start working on support, support companies because we don't have very many. I'd love to get the speed bonus from the recon. Of course, it also gives a recon sense bonus, but uh, yeah, I think that would be useful to have. Currently have 18 divisions in this Red Army here. Uh, not quite the size that I wanted to see uh, when we declared war. We're not not as large as we need to be. Uh, yeah, we're gonna. it's going to be a difficult, difficult fight, guys. I'm going to tell you that right now. It is not going to be easy. Uh, so we could go ahead and just, I suppose what we should do is try and get elite divisions. Because, uh, yeah, we could try and infiltrate, but, yeah, you'd need to do so many that I don't think we'd get it done. Uh, though, having one more would be stupidly useful. I know that I'm probably risking it, and they're going to end up, you know, using their political power to, to uh, com combat these, uh, which is going to become a problem. Yeah, I think we're. I I'm just going to get too greedy if I, I go after this one here. And like I said, it would be nice to have, uh, but I think it would just cause us cause us problems uh, where they would just end up reducing them any damn ways. So yeah, I don't think we're going to do that. Let's just try and get the elite divisions in Beijing, I suppose. Yeah, we'll do that. And that'll be it. Uh, and then we'll be declaring war because, yeah, we're just about ready. Uh, I'm just waiting to get a couple more divisions here. And then, yeah, we'll be ready. So we'll, we'll initiate that one. And that'll be too much for now, and then we'll declare war here in the fall. 
Uh, and that'll just let us get these two divisions at the very least trained. Maybe a few more, actually. Yeah, we could actually build a few more. So let's go ahead and build like two more of these guys. How much infantry equipment does each one take? 1,600. Okay. Iceland has capitulated. In fact, we probably have enough time to do one more. Uh, we won't actually get them built, of course. Uh, but we'll be able to, to use them later. Uh, and yeah, if we go on the negative, then they also give us uh, infantry equipment. Uh, all of the, the allies and our fellow Chinese uh, factions. So, yeah, it is it is helpful uh, going in the negative sometimes. Uh, so yeah, I guess we're not doing too bad on equipment right now. A lot of our stuff is, is pretty well stockpiled. Uh, yeah, we could actually go ahead and put more into infantry equipment, in fact. Because, yeah, we're doing so good on, on anti-air at this moment. We should actually put into uh, the artillery. Let's take a look. Um, we're about to get this done on the 17th of August. Uh, and you know what? What we'll do... Now we'll let them get the better infantry equipment out there. Uh, we got the guerrilla warfare, excellent. Uh, so another guerrilla warfare is done. We are completely done with our army doctrine tree. That does give us army recovery rate, and again that out of supply bonus. Uh, and let's see what we want to go for next. There's not really a lot of tanks in China that we're going to need to be fighting, so I don't know that we should prioritize that. Oh shit! I completely forgot about getting the mountain troops. Damn it! All right, so let me. I'll do that as soon as I'm done here. I completely forgot about those. We could have got that in time. Uh, unfortunately, I did not uh, remember. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, let's get the construction, guys. That's a bummer, man. Uh, and, yeah, we will accept that. And, what was the other? Oh, yes. I almost forgot again. Uh, we wanted to, we wanted to do the mountain troops. So let's go ahead and get these guys uh, built out. Uh, let's do... I almost want to see if we can get, like, 20s. Because otherwise, I mean, typically I do 10 uh, for my, my uh, special forces. But you know what? Let's do 20 because we do have so many battalions in our divisions. And I don't know if we'll be able to do even one of these. I suppose we'll take a look and see if this will even allow me to train one. Uh, engineer companies, uh, field hospitals, support artillery. And I don't know that we'll do support anti-air. No, probably not. Just looking at how much it boosts heart attack. No, we're probably not. Uh, we're just going to leave it as is. And, yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and save it. We need a name for the Mountaineer Division. So if you guys want to provide a name, then we'll, uh, you know, name them the best, the bestest one. All right, so let's go ahead and get these guys set up for training. And we can actually get quite a few of them. All right, well, that's cool. I wasn't, I wasn't sure how many we'd be able to get. Uh, so let's, let's build them all the way out and just pull from that one so that they can take the infantry equipment. All right, there we go. All right, so it looks pretty good. And we're short 2.7 thousand, uh, so obviously that won't be good for the war. Uh, but we're waiting for this infiltration to finish up, which we got 24 days, and then we have to initiate this, uh, which I think we could actually infiltrate it now. Uh, let me see how many days does it take. Say 60 days. Hmm. It takes 60 days to do these. I wonder if we could do an additional one if we waited to do this. Yeah, see, I don't know if it's going to cancel that, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it till this one's over. Yeah, but with 60 days. Yeah, you'd only be able to complete one. And we don't have any infantry equipment anyway, so I guess it's irrelevant. Yeah, we'll just take this decision once it's done. And we'll go ahead and go to war uh, with the rest of the Chinese. Make it happen, man. Hopefully it goes well for us. I can't really say. Uh, how is it going to go? Because there's there's so much more numerous than us. Uh, we do take control of all these these uh, provinces here and these states, but can we get troops there to defend it soon enough? Because it's mostly just going to be defended by militia. So I don't know how well those troops will do at defending. Uh, we do have this front here where they'll be able to just push forward immediately. Uh, but on these fronts, these guys are going to actually have to fight. Um, or until... Well, they might not have to fight because they got to wait till somebody gets there to, to defend those provinces. Now we're pretty stacked guy right now, guys. It's just infantry equipment. And the main reason why we're not getting the infantry equipment built out is, one, we require so much of it, and two, because we had dropped the efficiency when we dropped when we went to infantry equipment three. Uh, let's see what... Yes, yeah, we're done with the infiltrations. Let's go ahead and do it, guys. Um, yeah, uh, we're fully infiltrated in Beijing and uh, this province as well. So let's go ahead and initiate it and hope that they don't that they do not do any of those counters. That's the only reason why I'm not doing it further is because I'm worried about the counter. I don't really know how it works. I, all I know is it takes political power and infantry equipment. So I assume they'd be doing it. Now, They, I believe they have to detect them first, which is a percentage-based chance of detecting it. So that might be why they haven't done it yet. It's because they haven't detected it or something. Again, I'm pretty new to this whole mechanic, so uh, don't take my word for it. Uh, so let's go and launch the Communist Uprising. And yeah, we can do these at the same time. 
Uh, and we have the infantry equipment, so might as well um, to try and get the elite divisions, I suppose. I don't see any reason, because I don't think we'll get it done in time, because it does take, uh, I think it takes 60 days to complete. Yeah, it takes 60 days. So we can get one of them completed, maybe. Uh, so might as well go with the uh, elite divisions then. In that particular instance, we'll do it here. All right, so we'll see how this ends up going, guys. Uh, and that'll likely be where we end the episode off as well. Because, yeah, we're getting close to the end here. Just a few more minutes, and then we're going to be uh, ending it. And we should probably go and deploy some troops here so that I can get this guy onto a front and start getting a planning bonus. And we're going to put him over onto this front. All right. So very, very soon, guys. Ah, uh, it sucks he put him over there. <laughs> it's not right really where we needed him. And I will be probably manually controlling these guys. Yeah, I think that'd be the best way to do it. And I forgot to tell these two to train. Yeah, we'll probably manually control it. Uh, let's take a look at where we're at now. 49 days. 49 days, guys. Uh, we're at speed 5. Uh, August 1943. So we did make... I think we started this episode in April, didn't we? April 30th, I believe. So yeah, we, we've made like a year and a half progress uh, in this episode sitting on speed 5. Oh, shit. And we should probably take a look what's going on in Europe, huh? <laughs> so, uh, Kiev has fallen. Uh, the Soviets continue to get pushed back. You see they're, they're having supply issues, it seems. Uh, Germans continue to push them back. However, winter is coming. Uh, so hopefully that'll give the uh, Soviets a little, a little bit of breathing room uh, since it is a lot harder to attack while uh, in the winter. Uh, the Italians, and probably help with the Germans, uh, have pushed back all those, those naval invasions. So yeah, they're not going to capitulate early like we're thinking. Uh, so yeah, Axis are still doing very, very good in Europe. Um, surprisingly, uh, which is a good thing, uh, that they, they improved the Axis AI, because I remember back in the day, man, they used to be garbage. Good God, Germany just failed every time miserably, AI Germany, they just didn't do well. Uh, so I'm very happy that they did improve them. Uh, that's very good. All right, so how much more time do we have? 22 more days. Like I said, that is where we're going to end the episode. <laughs> it's going to be a nice teaser for the next episode. Uh, we can kind of take a look and see how it how it looks and how it ends up going. Uh, Cause I'm curious, I'm curious how it, how it uh, cause I've never seen this myself. Uh, coup in Romania, say what? Were they not already fascist? Maybe they weren't. I didn't read that, so yeah. <laughs> Probably would've been wise to read it. Yeah, the Soviets are definitely getting pushed back right now. They're not doing so well. They're having, they're having equipment problems, it seems with certain things, I would assume. Yeah, the, the, the tanks, they definitely are short on. Tanks and motorized, perhaps. Yeah, see, what are they short there? You know what, they just might be short infantry equipment, actually. Soviets are not doing well. Uh, they're having problems. So, well, hopefully they, they stand in it for longer. Uh, so we got two more days, guys. Two more days, one more day, and then I'm excited to see what happens. Let's go and turn this down, and here we go. Uh, Communist China just declared war on China. We have seized control of all of these regions here. And they did give us some of these elite troops. So this is the communist elite. Let's take a look at what elite means. Uh, elite doesn't mean anything. They have uh, six infantry battalions. Okay. Uh, so how bad are the, the militia then? The militia's got to be pretty bad. Uh, oh, they, okay. Experience is the determining factor. So these guys start out at regular experience while these guys start out at green. Uh, but essentially, their oh, their designs are different too. Uh, they only have four battalions, while well, they have six. Okay, good to know. Uh, I was curious how that ended up working, uh, and that is how it works. So next episode, we're gonna go and start advancing. Uh, these troops are gonna advance up this way, while these guys advance over here to try and get to the capital as quickly as possible to surround them. Uh, these guys here are gonna probably man right here. As you can see, we already no longer have Beijing under control because there was divisions there. Uh, these guys are going to push forward here, try and take as much territory as possible. You can see there's a ton of divisions up here. This is not going to be enough. They're going to invade Korea and cause us massive problems. Let's we'll see what we can do there. Uh, really, we just need to wrap up this area here as quick as possible. Try and connect with our Korean troops and uh, cut these guys. All right, well, these guys will be cut off from supply as soon as we take these two port or three ports. Excuse me. So if we can grab these three ports up then these troops here will no longer have supply, which means that we'll eventually be able to defeat them. Uh, that's the idea anyway. Uh, so we need to wrap this up. We know that there's troops along the border here. Uh, so we need to get them defeated. And then, yeah, we need to start invading this way. And, of course, down to the south, although more than likely it's going to be to get to the... Our, our goal will be to get to the, uh, the borders uh, as soon as we can here. 
Uh, let's take a look at what decisions available. Emergency factory conversion. Okay, so we're not interested in doing that right now. Oh shit, I completely forgot. God damn it, I'm an idiot. Shit. I was doing that army training and then I completely forgot to improve relations with China, with America. Fuck shit, private. So we could have been going down those focuses and I, I just completely neglected it. All right, my bad guys. Uh, so we need to get America way, way up. Yeah, uh, we're at 14 here. I can't believe I forgot that. Uh, yeah, that's such a shame, guys. It's a real shame. Uh, so these guys here, we need to get them assigned to an army. Do we want to assign them to the Red Army or just give them their own army? I might go ahead and do their own army, actually, so I remember that they are all crappy uh, and may need to have their uh, division designs changed. So yeah, we'll just put them into their own separate army for right now. Put it on underneath the Phil Marshall and then give them, uh, is that all we have? I could have swear we would have had more. Well, maybe not. That's all we got. We got 12. Uh, so let's just give them an icon. We got red and blue. We'll do yellow. And we will give them the heart. Here to spread love to the rest of China. Uh, give him a general and he will work out well. And that's going to be the end of the episode, guys. Uh, so that's where we're ending it. A good teaser for the next one. Uh, we'll try and get these guys quickly destroyed. They're... Probably gonna win initially, but they're cut off from supply, so we should be able to defeat them. Sucks we gotta use all three divisions for that, though. Uh, these ones here will go try and rapidly cut off the rest of this and grab these provinces here while these guys attempt to just just lock them down along the river here because I don't think we're gonna be able to advance much. Uh, while our main army then advances this way, try and get all this territory taken. Uh, so, And then these guys here will help out on this front. So that's the plan. Uh, we'll just have to see how it ends up going. I hope you guys did enjoy the episode. Uh, I'm excited to, to finally start this Chinese Civil War here. Let's go ahead and actually look at the uh, war summary, because uh, I forgot to do this last episode. So this is the Japanese-American War. I think this is the one that we're involved in. Yes, yes it is. Uh, we're in our own little faction now, no faction. Uh, we've taken 109,000 casualties in the war, uh, mostly by Japan, Japan excuse me. Uh, Japan has taken 1.4 million casualties, and we did 457,000 of that. That is a lot. Wow. We played such a huge role in defeating Japan, or pushing them off the continent, I should say, which is why we have 30% of the total war participation uh, compared to... Uh, huh. Is China... Is China not in the war with Japan? Yeah, they're still in the war with Japan. I wonder why that looks that way, why, they look, why they're blue. It says that they're not called into the war. It's because I'm looking at... No? All right. Well, maybe it's because of this this here. Uh, so, yeah, this is our conflict here. If you look at the total fielded manpower, we have 617,000 compared to 1 point, probably 2 million. Uh, so, they've got a lot more fielded manpower than us. And they're only 4% towards capitulation here. Uh, and looking at their current divisions, these are their current division numbers, guys. Um, obviously, they have... Uh, a lot more than we do with our 42 divisions. It's going to be a tough fight. This is the main fight of the campaign, though. Uh, you know, first it was Japan and getting them kicked off the continent, and now it's against uh, the rest of the China. Uh, so this is the main main conflict, and it's going to be a tough fight. It's going to be hard, but it should be fun. I'm looking forward to doing it, guys. Uh, I hope you guys did um, enjoy the episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Hope to see you on the next episode, and thanks for watching, guys.